So you have been, um, oh, let's start with the main energy over here. Um, there, there's something that, um, you know, you're not seeing or you don't want to face some kind of uh, situation at this particular moment. You're closing your eyes to the situation. Uh, you don't want to really see the truth in the situation. You don't want to see what's going on around you. Uh, it seems like, you know, you're happy to carry on the way you've been carrying on. Um, uh, going on with, uh, you know, it seems like you've been focusing on your daily uh, chores. Um, you don't really want to upset the cart. Uh, you know, you're happy the way things are. You're happy with the status quo of things. Uh, you don't want to really, um, you know, face any kind of uh, situation that's going to upset you in in any way. You're closing your eyes to to a situation over here. Uh, and, you know, you are, have been focusing on, uh, you know, just getting things done on a daily basis, just, uh, you know, carrying on with, with the daily routine of life, really. Now, there's some sort of challenging situation that you're facing over here. There might be somebody that is around you that is causing a little bit of distress, bullying you around, telling you what to do and, you know, presenting challenges to you. Uh, and that seems to be coming in that week. So in the past, you've got... Um, uh, you know, taking control, taking charge. Uh, you are somebody that's very organized. You've got all your ducks in a row here. And, you know, you're very abundant. You're, you know, whatever you do, you work very hard and you've got good leadership skills as well. Um, and you are being uh, guided as well. So an, a need for you to, you know, sort of count your blessings. Um, also, this is a card that seems to be showing that you are focusing on your work and you're focusing on money uh, rather than uh, any kind of relationship at this particular moment. So this has been going on in the past uh, few months where you've been uh, had a lot of focus mostly on work um, and, you know, uh, getting your leadership skills uh, intact at work rather than actually uh, focusing on anything to do with uh, romance. There have been people around you that have been uh, causing a little bit of uh, problems over here. There might be somebody that is, uh, you know, um, a little bit of a bully, uh, a, a little a bit of a bossy kind of person. Um, you've got um, uh, uh, Mars in Aries over here. So they're a bit on the aggressive side over here. And, you know, they're a bit self-centered as well. And they have been causing a little bit of problems. They might be somebody at work that you're having to deal with right now. So going into the future, um, you are dealing with somebody that is uh, a little bit impatient uh, with you, uh, somebody who has got, um, you know, maybe this attitude, uh, you know, and this is happening at your workplace, basically, because you've got Saturn in um, Capricorn here, uh, somebody who's, uh, you know, feels that you are not skilled enough at what you do, and, you know, they're trying to uh, get you to, to do things um, maybe you're also learning on the job as well um, and, you know, you're having to bow down to this person who is uh, more of an instructor kind of energy coming through, uh, somebody who's uh, directing you into do thing, doing things. So um, this is um, a card of being, uh, you know, this is almost a card of hypocrisy. So, uh, you know, you're having to pretend to be what you're not. Um, you're having to um, come across as somebody that you're not, um, you know, um, maybe uh, pretend to, you, maybe you're not happy with whatever is going on, but you're still having to, um, you know, um, swallow all of that uh, confidence and, and pretend to be like, you know, you're somebody who will um, bow down to other people's um, uh, belief systems. Uh, rather than actually exerting your own control. Um, this has got a lot of illusion in it because you've got uh, Neptune sitting in um, in uh, Pisces here. And uh, it seems like, you know, maybe you're not um, telling people exactly what your belief system is. You're allowing their belief systems to direct you. And it's time that you stand up for your beliefs, stand up for, uh, you know, exert your authority rather than having people uh, try to push you around. This is kind of, you know, people trying to push you around and you, you're pretending to please everybody or you're trying to please everybody, but actually you're not pleasing yourself at all. Uh, and you're not getting that satisfaction out of life because you're having to, uh, you know, you, you're, you're trying to, to make everybody else happy rather than yourself. So it's time that you, you take that control. And this, you know, this is probably why people are, are coming in over there to bully you and manipulate you and, and give you, um, uh, problems because you need to act with confidence. So there's a need for you to act with confidence uh, rather than just letting things slide or letting things go, carrying on the way they are, um, you know, and not really standing up for your own belief system. 
So that that needs to come in uh, in that energy, that confidence. Uh, you need to work on that. So I have shuffled this deck. I'm just going to draw some cards from it. So there looks like there's something new that's going to be offered to you. Uh, it's it's probably a new relationship that is coming in for you. Um, and it's going to be something that is going to be very financially beneficial to you. Um, and it is something that is divinely guided. You've got the hand of God coming in over here. And it is something that, uh, you know, a, a new investment. So a new person coming in. Um, something that is uh, going to start off, uh, you know, very, very innocently or very, um, you know... Um, it's something that starts small and develops into something big. So it's somebody that you probably are going to be meeting at your workplace, uh, a person that you work with that you didn't think that uh, you were attracted to, and now you find that you are. And they are somebody that is going to, it's going to be a relationship that um, grows because this is the Ace of Pentacles and it's something that it starts up from basics and then works its way up into something that is more complicated. So uh, something started, um, something starting probably at the work front because it is Pentacles and uh, a new uh, offer being presented to you. Now what's happening around you? You've got the Knight of Pentacles and you've got the moon card. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles, this might be the person that is presenting this new offer. And it is somebody at work. Um, it looks like, uh, you know, they are somebody, the Knight of Pentacles is generally that slow moving knight who seems rather boring, uh, who doesn't seem like they have that much of excitement about them. And they're very, very hardworking and they're very, very organized. Uh, they're somebody that, you know, is not very frivolous. Uh, you know, they won't, they're not uh, people that would lie to you. They um, are very open and honest and, you know, they say it like it is. So, uh, you know, this looks like th that the person that is going to be presenting this new relationship with you for you. Uh, you know, they bring a lot of light into your life as well and bringing in this new coin for you. And it's bringing the coin in a state where, you know, you are having, uh, you're going through a period of a lack, almost emotional lack. Because you've got a lot of snow falling over here. So maybe you've been feeling a lot, you know, of isolation and this person themselves, uh, you know, maybe they're also feeling very isolated and they, they're looking for this relationship and it looks like they're, they're willing to work on it and they're, they're very hardworking and very reliable. This is a very reliable person coming in. You are longing for something better, something, uh, you're longing for that love. Um, and you know, you've been uh, focusing on that. You've been, um, almost daydreaming about it. Uh, the moon is a card of, you know, uh, hidden hopes, hidden fantasies, uh, you know, you want that love because it is a card that is ruled by the moon, you um, by cancer, and you want that loving and you want that caring. And it looks like this person is going to be able to do that for you. They're going to have, bring in that kind of uh, nurturing um, feeling aspect for you. Um, and uh, they're going to bring in that kind of um, love that is very caring and very nurturing for you. And you are longing for it. Uh, and they're going to be very faithful. You've got the dog over here. So they're a very faithful uh, friend that you can, you know, you've got the friendship going with them and you can rely on them. There's something, uh, you know, that can uh, bring you um, a lot of love, a lot of joy. You've got this woman carrying a baby here. So this is a beginning of a new relationship. So something brand new starting a very reliable person. Uh, you know, don't allow yourself to be, uh, you know, to daydream too much. This is something that you need to make some sort of concrete decision about. This person is hardworking uh, and they're willing to uh, stand by you no matter what. So this is a new relationship coming in with this new offer. And this is probably somebody that you work with. Somebody that you didn't really think that you would get involved with. But they're bringing in an offer for you. So in the past, you, uh, you know, you're very, very focused on your work. Um, you know, maybe a lot of things that happened to you that were very negative with this devil card. There was a lot of chaos, uh, you know, and maybe you were involved in a relationship that was very manipulative. Um, you know, something that um, was not, uh, you know, um, for your best interests. Maybe the person lied to you, they controlled you, uh, and this is what had happened in the past. So in the last three months, you know, maybe this person that you were involved in had betrayed you. So you've got a lot of heartbreak over here. You had to make a choice. And although you were so 
uh, you know, you didn't want to make that choice. It was such a difficult choice that you had to make. You had to let go of that relationship. Uh, you had to um, give it up and uh, it ended and it's caused a lot of heartbreak for you. There was a breakdown of communication as well. There's a lot of betrayal that has happened in that past relationship, but you've had to let it go and you're very, very upset um, you know, that you have lost this past relationship. But now this new relationship is coming in and it seems much better. This person seems to be much more reliable. And, you know, you have been longing for this new relationship to come in. <clears throat> so what's in your mind? You're still thinking about the betrayal that happened in this previous relationship. Uh, they must have done something behind your back. Uh, you know, they caused a lot of hurt. It's almost like they stabbed you in the back. And you weren't expecting it. This person uh, has got their back turned to the betrayal. So that, you know, you were blindsided. You didn't expect them to do these things to you. There's a lot of deception, a lot of lies, uh, but they look like they've stabbed you in the back uh, and you were never expecting that to happen. So this new person that comes in offers you something and there's a lot of messages and communication going on with this person. They are quite a dynamic person and they've got a lot of energy and they have a lot of good new ideas and, you know, they're a very get up and go person. So uh, this person that comes in, um, uh, you know, they, they've got that good work ethic um, because they're the Knight of Pentacles, but they've also got a lot of energy and they got a lot of get up and go. And, you know, there's a lot of messaging coming in for you over here uh, so that, it, you know, it, they bring a lot of action into your life. So you are, uh, you know, getting over a, a, um, um, a situation where you were, you felt really betrayed. You can see that this person has stabbed uh, this uh, person through the heart with this... Uh, rod so um you know you have you're you're trying to recover from this heartbreak uh from all this uh lies and deception and problems that you um went through and it seems like this person caused so much of pain you know they, they put something through your heart they, they 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 completely left you for dead if you like and there was a lot of arguments in this relationship a lot of fighting a lot of battling uh it was a very chaotic relationship that you were involved in now around you, uh, people see that, you know, um, this new relationship is being presented to you and you have an opportunity, uh, an, a new opportunity to start this relationship. She has an opportunity to get this relationship um, and, uh, you know, it's it's something that you need to take. She she has the opportunity to get it back or to um, to work on this relationship and, you know, she needs to take it. So this is what you need to do with the Seven of um, Pentacles. It is investing, you know, wisely in the relationship. And people do see that this is probably going to be a good relationship for you to invest in. It is something that is going to bring long-term rewards and uh, it is something that will grow. Uh, and uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, the rewards are there. They will come. So it is something that uh, you need to consider and you need to actually take it on because it's got a very good long-term uh, commitment um, consequences and it looks like it will pay off. So, you know, you need to take that leap of faith with that particular relationship. So you're worried, uh, you know, that you will be betrayed again with this Ten of Pentacles. And you are still thinking about that relationship that completely destroyed you, uh, you know, that you had to turn your back on. And you really are considering about whether or not you should invest in this new relationship. You can see he's considering it. But with the Ten of, of Swords, it's like, you know, letting go of that old relationship, accepting it for what it was and moving on from it. So you need to do that. So going into the future, you've got the Sun card, you've got the Lovers card. Um, and you've got the hanged man. So with the sun card, it looks like there is going to be uh, a good long-term uh, relationship, uh, and it's going to have, uh, you know, it's going to have all the the bells and whistles that you wanted it to have. So it will be a, a relationship uh, that will go the distance and will end up in a committed relationship, and you'll be allowed to start a family, or you'll be allowed to, uh, you know, grow with it. You're going to have to work a little hard on it. It is happening now because the sun time, the sun speaks about the timing happening now. It also speaks about clarity coming in with this new relationship. And it seems like a very loving relationship. And because it's got the baby and this family kind of thing, there's a lot of love that will be involved, a lot of growth, a lot of uh, energy being put into it. So it's something that is really good that is coming in for you. You've got that choice to make. Now you will 
you know, you are very attracted to this person, um, and, but you do have this choice to make. And it is important um, that you realize that, you know, this is a very soulmate connection. This is something that you've been waiting for. This is a major arcana card with the, the lovers. And it is something that, you know, you should uh, really uh, accept, accept this offer and it will go the distance. And you are at a turning point in your life. You are, you know, you need to make that decision. And, you know, maybe you're feeling a bit, uh, you know, like everything's up in the air right now. Uh, you need to look at it from a different perspective uh, rather than seeing it with old eyes. You need to look at it from a new perspective with this hanged man uh, and wait because it will happen and it will uh, bring you everything that you want. It's going to bring you a financial success, good communication. You've got a lot of power in your hands. You've got the cup over here. So it's going to bring all these things for you, this new relationship that you have, but you just have to to, to take that chance and make that commitment of going for it. And it looks like it's going to end up, uh, you know, be, being a lot of, bring a long, lot of spiritual growth as well. So everything coming uh, to a head here and this relationship bringing in what you need. But the past relationship, you need to let it go. It was a, a relationship that you can never re resurrect again. And it caused a lot of hurt for you. But now something new has started, this new cycle that you've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, because Libra has been going through a lot of problems and you've been waiting for this new relationship to come in, this new thing to come in that is a, got that soul connection that causes that spiritual growth, um, you know, and don't have any doubts and fears. Um, you know, you need to take that leap of faith. This is the turning point card with the hanged man and it is now the time for you to take that opportunity or, or embrace that opportunity with both hands and, um, you know, don't let go of it. Because if you let it go, you might never get it again. Uh, because this might be uh, one of those, you know, those relationships that you were waiting for your whole life. And now it finally comes along. And you make sure that you see that it is that relationship rather than letting it go uh, because you of your doubts and your fears. Know that whatever happened is now finished and done with, with this Ten of uh, Swords. And it's time to now move on, make that, uh, that decision and go forward and stop dwelling in the past and all the heartbreak that you went through and all the betrayal that you went through because it is now time for you to take that leap of faith and go for it. It is something that you've been longing for a long time and this person is very, very faithful uh, and they will stand by your side uh, through thick and thin. So uh, this new offer coming in and it is time to, to act on it. It is a time for action. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Archangel Tarot. So you've got Archangel Ariel coming in for you, and it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or a promotion. So there's an ace uh, of Ariel over here that is saying that, you know, your luck is coming in, your ships are coming in. Financially, you are going to get, um, you know, a, a lot of money coming in as well. So uh, whatever this relationship is, it seems like that energy opens the doors for you to prosper. So it is something that you should pursue. And you've got the page of Ariel, uh, which says that this person is uh, reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you, and it's time to get to work. So, you know, even you're in your job, it looks like there will be uh, something that comes in. There's scholarships or uh, the pursuit of education. So you might be doing something educational as well in your work. Um, and this is a new opportunity that, that is coming for you uh, as well. And it is time to focus on your work as well as this relationship, but also a time for you to focus on work. And the seven of Gabriel says, stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. So in order for you to move forward, you've got to leave the past behind and act with confidence and act with power and stand up for your belief systems. So it looks like something brand new is coming in and it looks very like it's going to end up being a nice committed relationship a very, very positive card with the sun card coming in and a lot of clarity and a lot of spiritual growth in it. And the love is that choice being needed to make be made, um, you know, and with the hangman, you know, it's the turning point. So this is the thing that you have been waiting for. Don't miss this opportunity. It is that turning point, uh, that thing that takes you out of the negative phase that you went through and now brings you into the positive. So, and you will be getting messages from this person. And uh, they it looks like it's going to be a really good, productive relationship. And also things opening up for you on the work front uh, with money coming in as well, you know, new money coming in with the Ace of Ariel. That makes you very abundant. So, you know, it's a win-win situation all the way 